Well, look who's back, retired Lieutenant Colonel James Carafano. Sir, it's good to have you on. So what's your reaction to the Biden White House trying to bury that negative State Department report of its botched exit out of Afghanistan uh, right before the Friday before July 4th? What do you think? Well, first of all, Sharknado is a great movie. But, you know, <laughs> people say this is just this is real stuff. This really does happen. I was once on the Army staff and we had bad news. We were going to dump it on a Friday. And DOC said, no, you can't do that because we have bad news and we're going to dump it on a Friday. So anybody that believes anything other than the administration was consciously trying to bury this and the State Department took orders on this from the White House, you don't know what you're talking about. This is a real thing that they were really trying to hide from the American people. And reportedly, they also left out about 60 pages, pages in their version that was released. What did you think of the report? Well, look, I thought, well, I thought the report was damning, considering there was every bit of pressure to try to kind of m mitigate the, the, the White House's responsibility for this. But I don't think we learned anything new. Biden scared himself out of Afghanistan. He wanted a bug out before the Taliban did anything. He thought it was a brilliant plan. He didn't tell the allies. He didn't, he didn't listen to the Department of Defense. He personally made this decision. And every cascading disaster that happened from that, from the people dying and falling off of planes to, to uh, you, you know, dropping a bob on the wrong guy because he was a suspected, all that is the responsibility of Joe Biden, and he refuses to accept it. Yeah, but they, and then they, the House Foreign Affairs Chairman, Michael McCall, Congressman says they, you know, they were so wrong to do this late release because he had called for them to release this report, an unclassified version, uh, way before this. It was completed in March of 2022. Well, look, what they should have done is exactly what happened after 9-11. If they really wanted to be honest with the American people and honestly get a fair hearing for what they did, they should have appointed an independent commission that should have objectively looked at it and reported out. Now, you know what? It would have been bad news for Biden. But it wouldn't be nearly as bad as what he's done, which is try to hide the repute and try to obfuscate his own responsibility. Yeah, I mean, the portion of the report that was released said that both the Biden and Trump White Houses were to blame for lack of planning for the withdrawal. But Trump did have a plan. And Biden <laughs> White House botched it. I mean, we've got 13 U.S. troops murdered, 170 Afghans murdered, thousands of Americans stranded. Look, what Trump's plan was, was predicated on actions on the battlefield. So if things happen, then he would take that step. What Biden did was exactly what Obama did when he ran away from Iraq and exactly what Biden did when, in Benghazi, is he ran it by a calendar and ignored the okay. realities on the battlefield. And that's why everything went wrong. Okay, Lieutenant Colonel James Carafano, thanks for joining us tonight.